Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, yeah, yeah, no, ought to better be. Uh, destroys Anthony Yard in eight rounds. Pretty good fight, but y'all um, better be just a little better all night long. Get the eighth round stoppage. But before we get into that, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Um, quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. We'll probably be back tonight with another one after the Golden Boy card. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into the performance because it was a good fight. First, kudos to both Yard and Better Beef. Really good fight, high action fight, competitive fight. Which Yard was just a little bit better. I, mean, I keep doing that. No, Better Beef was just a little bit better. And Better Beef was just the slightest bit better than Yard throughout the fight. Very competitive fight. First round even, second round even. Then it looked like Better Beef started to get in control. Fifth round, sixth round, fight really starts to tighten up. Um, Yard looked a lot better in this fight. And then he did in the Kovalev fight three years ago, whatever, four years ago, whatever it was. He seems more ready. He's just not good enough yet. Or will, I mean, um, he's just not good enough, right? He, he he was calmer. He was using his jab. He wasn't overthrowing. He he, he was conserving his punches. He, he wasn't letting all out. He, he looked more prepared, more focused for the fight. And he fought well. He had moments specifically with the right hand uh, where he hurt. Better Beef several times. You know, Better Beef is a pound-for-pound pound elite fighter, but he's not a pound-for-pound pound elite mover. He's there to be hit. He gets hit a lot. Um, he, he 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 is what he is. And he's also 38. Um, this is not the best version uh, of Better Beef. I know he's only had 19 fights, 19 on 19 knockouts. And uh, he only turned pro about 10 years ago in uh, the Bell Center in Montreal. Um, so he's only been pro for less than 10 years. Um, this is 10 years of pro. Um, so he doesn't have a, you know, that means he turned pro when he was 28. You look at his record. He fought a guy 12 and 14 his first fight. Then fought a guy who was 23 and 20. This is not an easy path for better beef. Uh, he's fought, obviously, his whole career at uh, 175 uh, pounds. So now the question and look, he's not the best version of himself, right? The best version of himself when he had beat Vaz Dick, uh, Callum Johnson, when he was destroying guys like that, that was the best version of him. He's past that. He's still a good fighter. He's still an elite fighter, but he's not quite as good as he once was. Still very good, though. Um, but he's on, the, he's on the wrong side of it now. And... You know, I, I I would always have picked him to steamroll a guy like um, Bavol, who I think was just too small. I I don't know. Bavol may have something for him now. You know, but Bavol still moves, lateral movement. He can use the ring. He can jab. He can stand in with them in, in spots, even though that's not what you want to do with him. Um, but this was he, he was competitive throughout. He was competitive throughout. You know, this was not a – he didn't get, you know, um, Better Beef is still kind of one-dimensional. And that's going to be an issue for a guy like Bavall, who's multidimensional. You know, I, I think there's more ways that he can adjust. But the question is, is – He's just not strong enough, not a big enough puncher. Can better be just kind of walk through him? That's the option. That's the fight we want to see. We are running out of time. Like I said, better be is 38 years old. The other option that he has 
is to go to Cruiserweight, which people are talking about. And I, I Do what you'd like at Cruiserweight. I just don't see the opportunities there. I, I, I don't see big money fights there. You know, there, there's not big names, right? You, you go through the Cruiserweight division, there's a Coley, you know, um, Kovalev is there now. I don't know if you want to do that. Dorchy Coast. Um, you got uh, Makabu, which is the guy that Canelo wanted to fight. I think he's a WBC champ. Yeah, WBC champ. He's fighting Badu Jack um, next month. And maybe you want the winner of that. I don't. I don't even know who wins these fights. Um, again, you got a Coley. You got. Um, is he from Australia or New Zealand? Jai Apatai. Is that how you say his name? Who beat Brightest? And you have Brightest there. Again, not that these are terrible fighters. They're good fighters. But, and he has what, the WBA belt? The IBF? These aren't big names. I, I don't know why you leave 175 to go to this, right? There are still fights at 175. A Joe Smith fight is still more intriguing than this. A Baval fight, if it can happen, is way more intriguing than what you have at Cruiserweight. Um, so that's going to be the option. I, I just don't see that as an attractive option, right? Like you, you have a couple of names, a couple of fights. A Coley, I guess, is, is, is the best fight that they could make. Although that fight's not really interesting. Um, if Badu Jack wins, that's a name. Uh, again, that's not, you know, at, at 75, you still have fights with Gibraltar Ramirez. It's a fun fight, right? Um, you know, Joe Smith Jr. was a fun fight. You could do it again, right? There's no reason why you couldn't. I mean, yeah, you know what? Now that I look at it, you kind of run down names at 175. Right? I forgot how one-sided the beatdown Joe Smith Jr. was. It, it was it was bad. It was a one-sided beatdown, right? I, so why would you do that again? I guess you would. Watsi is a name. None of this is, is really intriguing either. So I, I think I just sold myself on maybe if, if you can't get before, before is obviously the fight you want. If you can't get before, maybe go to Cruiserweight. I, I mean, I'm looking at this. Gilberto Ramirez. What fights at 75 do you really want to see? Besides before. If that can't get made for a litany of reasons. Craig Richards. I mean, I, is that calling you? You know, <laughs> You get Steven Nelson on the way. There's just not the fight there, and they don't really see makeable. So I, I don't really know where you go with this. But let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to see? Did, did you like the fight? First of all, you know, comment on what you – Oh. That sucked. Okay. Um, were you guys intrigued by the fight? Did you like the fight? Um, and then what do you want to see? What do you guys want to see? Uh, better be – do next. And, and how about for Yard? Is this it for Yard? Is Yard done at a world class level? I mean, he's had two world title fights. He's got knocked out both of them. You can see he's just not that level. He's just a notch below a good fighter. Just he's not going to win a world title unless he can get handed a vacant one, which he can beat. You know, nobody. I mean, he's just he's just a notch below. Uh, but a better performance is just not good enough from Yard. So what do you guys think? Yard does next, and what would you like to see Better Beef do next? Assuming a before fight can't be made, which I, I don't know if it can or can't. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is January 28th, uh, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.